Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Hello Leos and Leo cross watchers. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well as a cross watcher of the Leo. And this is your Valentine Be Mine reading. So to purchase the extended, if this resonates with you, click on the link below. It's in the Zodiac Intimate readings, okay? Also in the link below, you can go and become a patron on my Patreon and all of my other erotic tarot readings are there as well. Okay, so thank you so much for those that have joined me on Patreon so far. You've let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. What is it here that you are avoiding? Release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. You know what I'm going to tell you I feel, and it's a really weird message, but it's what I feel. I feel like for some of you, you're trying to be friends with the ex. And, and by doing that, because I feel like it's not just friends. I think there's something more to that. Maybe you guys still entertain each other. Maybe you guys still do a little something, something, or maybe it's this energetic tie between the two of you. It's causing a block. Meaning nobody new can come in while that sh shenanigans is going on here. And even if it's not, oh, we're not together. Yeah, but are they holding space? And are you, are you guys holding space for each other still? Because energetically, that would be a block. The devil, see? Look at that. Restrictions. Capricorn energy, but it's restrictions. Holding each other back. Some of you need to let something go. Maybe it's a it's a it's a friend. But I don't think so. It feels like it's an ex. I mean it literally says release your ex, but it's what it feels like a relationship. Either that or like your your ex won't let you go. They want to be friends, and you're all like, uh, ill, no. Somebody don't want to let somebody go or something. Eight of Wands. It's like a big release. That feels like a big shift. It's a big release. Six of Cups, soulmate. Memories, nostalgia. Somebody can't let go of this because of the memories. Four of Swords. Someone just has to let it go and give up. Like, they gotta say, it's over, it's done. That's the thing. Somebody don't know how to let go. Hermit, could be Virgo. Six of Wands, victory. Somebody here wants to get back together. This is an ex. Either the ex doesn't want to let go or you don't want to get let go of them. And it's causing a huge fucking block. I mean, obviously, Seven of Pentacles waiting. Someone's waiting for another chance. All right, now, because I know you bitches are going to say, I don't want to know about the old one. Well, shit, I uh, don't, I don't know what the fuck I tell you. Bitch, I literally just shuffle. All right, here we go. They don't want to know about the old one, spirit. There, there's a new one. Two of Cups. But see, you got you to gotta take care of the old shit in order for this new shit to come in. You see how that works? Two of Cups, it comes right in. It comes in because, see, it come in, all right. Look at the lovers. It come in because there's room. There's space. Remember holding space or someone holding on to you? It doesn't work. Page of Wands. Could be a younger fire sign. That could be you. It's a, new, it's a spark, something new. And then the Knight of Wands, again, younger fire sign. There's a lot of fire energy here. It's a lot of passion. This new connection is going to be very, very, it's going to be highly sexual. There's going to be a lot of physical attraction. Um, it, it's a younger energy here. So either they, they are, are younger for their age and very fun and bubbly and, you know, youthful, or they're younger. It's like when Stella got a groove back, honey. I mean, do you, boo-boo. I'm going to watch that again this weekend. Look at, there you are. Strength. Heavy, heavy fire energy. Having the strength to let go. Having the strength to release. Five of Cups. See, I told you, somebody can't let something go. They're still living in the past. They're still sad. They're, they, and again, it's a block. See, I told you, bitches, it's a block. They're, they won't let go. I mean, I don't know how much more to say that. It's like, I know it's frustrating too, right? When like an ex won't let you go or won't get over it or still wants to be in your life. But it's like, you just got to be like, no, it's just not going to happen. No. You saw that shadow. See, the sky is an ending. It's about a release, right? It's a it's a sudden, unexpected shock, surprise. So there is some kind of sudden ending, but there's also some kind of an unexpected, new, shocking surprise. The bellows a spark. Didn't I say that earlier about a spark? Didn't I say something about a spark? There's a fucking spark right there. The bellows literally says spark.
the albatross, a good sign or omen. Someone here feels really, really, this is baggage too. Someone here feels really regretful. It has the word regret. And then you had the five of cups earlier. Someone's ex here is very, very much so kicking their, themselves in the ass because they fucked up and they know it. And it's too late. It's too late. The woman, they just they can't let them go. They can't get over it. Fireworks, see the spark again. There is, there was no spark. There is no spark with the past thing. This is the new thing. But they, that that's the thing. It's like, listen, I don't love you anymore. I don't feel anything like that. I just don't feel that way anymore. The moon. The moon is about, you know, divine feminine. The moon is about secrets. It could be about intuition. It's dreams. The house. Let's see, living together. So there is this X energy that's got to go. Sayonara. Why does it have to go? Because it's time, right? <sighs> really, there's no other explanation than like it's just it's it's this this is over. Concern. Now they really fucked up and they know it. Wow, this person really is super regretful. They are just like they're not over it unexpected income some of you might get um, some money coming that you may not expect and it could be from selling a home because that's exactly what i felt i felt like it could be from selling a home maybe you guys decide to have to sell the house maybe you get a settlement self-indulgent focusing on self and the mask not showing true feelings the mask also can be a really bad relationship y'all about like gaslighting and all that shit too so maybe in the past, that's what they did. And you're like, fuck that. I'm not going to go through that again. Soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. So it was a karmic. This, this energy was a karmic relationship. So that means it's for a season and a reason. It's not forever. And this person just can't like wrap their head around it or something. You know, there's this vibration to it of like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that. And it's like, I know you are. I know you are. But... I no longer feel the same way, right? Or however it works in your situation. Friendship again. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. You know what I feel like? I feel like some of you, they want to be romantic and you're literally like, no, I just want to be friends. And some of you, it's a friendship that turns into more. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. But you know, it feels like a lot of you, it's an ex. The ex wants to still be friends and it's fucking things up. It's a block. So the friendship thing, like, oh, okay, we'll be friends. But it's really like, a, it's, a, it's deceptive. It's like, they don't just want to be friends. They want to, they still want to get in it. They still want to be together. Sorry, my phone's wobbling. They still want to be together, but they're using it as the friend thing. Like, oh, if we still be friends and cool parent and all this shit. And you're like, oh, okay. And then all of a sudden, now they'd be all, well, how come, where are you going to go? How come you're dressed like that? What are you going to do? Are you dating someone? Are you seeing somebody? And you're like, um, what? You guys are my last sign, Leo. So I'm going to do some moonology cards for you. Pretty sure I didn't do them for any other sign. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. And your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Time to take action. You know exactly what that is. I know you do too. I know you know exactly what that is. It's time to take action. See, uh, it's, it's see you later, alligator. You know what I'm saying? it's what it is it's like the action you got to take is going to be for some of you telling them to skedazzle like i want to be the best thing to do is co-parent right and to be really have a good relationship with that with your person but I, they want more the ring see some of you are married to them there was a there there was some kind of a vow or some kind of like living together um but they're they're like not letting that go the rider they want to move things forward. That's also a younger person too. So I feel like your new ones are going to be younger. That could be for some of you. I keep channeling how Stella got her groove back, honey. See, the mice here is mistakes and anxiety and worry and it's chaos and it's problems. And it's all that yucky energy. But there is something new coming in. I mean, you even had it here. Look, the door, the ring, excuse me, the key. <laughs> the key opening the door. Something new is happening. 
somebody new is coming in and it, they feel like like a breath of fresh air almost it's almost like you feel the spark with them you know what i mean like you feel this excitement you feel this like your your heart beating fast and like butterflies and all these things so that's what's exciting here is that you're going listen i think that i i this is how most of us know we know it's over with the x when we feel that feeling of like mm, Me, no butterflies. Our, our our body parts aren't throbbing for them. We're just like, nah. no, thank you. I don't like it. I don't want it. So this is what this is. This is like, no, thank you. I don't want it. I don't want. I don't want it. So, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. If you want to purchase the extended, again, click on that link below. It is in the description box, or you can go straight to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com, and it would be in the Zodiac Intimate Extended. And again, Patreon, if you want to follow me there to watch all of my other erotic tarot readings, click on that link below. But thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. I feel like I said all that already. Am I having deja vu? Anyways, I'll see you in your extended. Love you.